Okay, so I thought I was done with cosmetics. I still got to work on the fenders. So I'm basically just going to clean them up. The other one's good. This one, though, has some rust. So I'm going to get it cleaned up. And then I'm going to wire wheel it and just hit it with like some primer and then some of the silver just to mask it for now. Basically just gonna hit it with a wire wheel, hit it with some primer, some silver, and call it a day. Just to help preserve it until I can like respray the whole truck. Got the windshield wiper reservoir and the coolant overflow tank. I'm gonna strip everything down and clean these up. down to their basic form. So now I'm gonna try a little thing I found on Reddit. All right, so I just wire wheeled these brackets, so now I'm gonna hit them with a flat black. Alright, so this is the windshield wiper uh, motor assembly. This is what shoots the stuff on your windshield. The original one was all rotted out, so I actually robbed this one from the rear motor and wired it in. But when I wired it, I did kind of a hack job. I didn't really know how to make it clean looking. So I'm gonna clean it up. Alright, so I robbed the little crimp pieces from these red, red ones. Just got the little crimper thing in them. That'll make it more compact. Just hit it with uh, some heat. Got it all shrinked up. It looks pretty good. And 
All right, so this is how they look after the uh, dishwasher. They look a little better. Still got paint on them though, so I'm gonna use some acetone or something trying to get the paint off. All right, so here are the two reservoirs after I ran them through the dishwasher and ran some acetone on them. I got them cleaned up to where I'm happy with them, so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble them. Alright, so this is the heater controller, so when you switch the knob to cold, or uh, from cold to hot, this thing actuates, and that's what gives you heat. So I'm going to kind of pull it apart and clean it up. All right, so I got this little heater control thing all cleaned up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the truck. All right, so since I'm like super weird, I put white lithium grease on the back of this because it's gonna be going up against the firewall. I also put white lithium grease on this bolt as well as like pretty much every other bolt. All right, so sometime last year, I, uh, I actually went through and rewrapped the whole harness and electrical tape. When I was done, I actually never really liked how it looked, but I put all this time into it, so I kept it up until now. But yeah, I'm going through and taking all this tape off. This isn't how you correctly do a harness. All right, so here's all the electrical tape I managed to get off the harness. So now I'm gonna start fixing stuff.
All right, so gone through and fixed a few things. It might be a little hard to tell what I'm doing in some of the previous videos, so I'm just gonna do a quick little overview. So I fixed this. Um, redid this connector, well this, right there. Um, put this new headlight connector on, and I fixed the alternator harness, put a new ground on, fixed that power cable, so yeah, so I think I'm going to stuff this harness in. So I think I'm going to mount these relays about right here, that should be good. Alright, so I did this off camera, but went through and all these, there's four of these. Um, I took them out of the little plastic things, wire wheeled them, and then hit them with paint, and then use white lithium grease. It's the details. 